officially as of tomorrow, the 28th of April 2020. Bit of context as to when I'm actually recording this. My second year at Falmouth University will be over. About this time last year, I made a video reflecting on my first year at university and how I thought it went, sort of reviewing the course for future people who might attend the film course at Falmouth, uh, and it went down quite well. Uh, people seemed to enjoy actually hearing about the course firsthand from a student because, you know, you can hear from lecturers, you can read the um, curriculum, you can talk to ambassadors, but actually hearing it straight from someone who's just done it, I think, is the most crucial thing in making that decision. Before I delve into the specifics of my experience um, with second year, I want to say it was great. It was so much better than first year, uh, just content-wise and what I was doing and how I was interacting with the people and the course and the lecturers and just the entire university um, experience. The way that I personally interacted with all of that was so much better. I was so much more in tune with what was happening and trying new stuff. And I think if that's the one thing you're going to take from this video, if you want to click away now, it's you can still have new experiences in your second year and throughout your entire university experience, try, make mistakes. My God, I've made mistakes this year and just have fun with it because it's only three years and then it's done. So enjoy it. Now let's get into some actual specifics. So for my second year uh, at Falmouth, I've had four modules in total, two per term. In my first term, I had to uh, make a 30 minute presentation uh, with a partner on a certain genre of film. So me and my partner obviously picked the vampire genre because why wouldn't you? We got to talk about Twilight for half an hour. Mental. Also in second year you get to sort of specialise in what you want to specialise in which was kind of where the first year was lacking because in the first year of film at Falmouth they teach you pretty much everything. Like a, a basic knowledge of everything is what you get in first year which is great because you need to know it. And then for the next two years, you get to specialise in one of those things. Hey, how's it going? This is a little editor's note. I'm editing the video right now. One thing that I forgot to mention is that even when you do specialise in something and you pick a pathway or a, a role, as it were, in my case, it was screenwriting. I did attend other workshops and things for other roles. So I went to a lot of editing workshops with my friend because she's an editor and I know nothing about editing. I'm the worst. I use iMovie, as you can probably tell. <laughs> and the uni does really encourage you uh, branching out and trying new things and not just being limited to the one thing that you're doing, you know? So I, I just wanted to say that. So you're not sort of stuck in the one thing. Yes, you're being graded on that one pathway and that one module, but you can do other things, right? Back to Luke on his bed, not looking like this. So I've said it before and I'll say it again, but I'm a screenwriter, so that's what I specialised in. This year alone, I've written a 10 page uh, short film, which uh, I was really happy with. It was a love story, basically. Um, well, it's a, a loss of love story. I'm hoping to produce it at some point. I was gonna produce it this summer and actually turn it into a film. And I've also started the treatment for my feature film. Uh, the treatment, for those of you who don't know, is basically just a document uh, with the outline of the plot, uh, some development stuff, and now I'll start writing it. I've still, I've got some script pages done already, but for third year I have to submit a whole 90 to 120 page feature length script. So I won't get into the specifics of what my film is about because, you know, copyright and all that. The film is going to be mine, obviously, because <laughs> I'm writing it. Stupid point, Luke. Uh, but what I can tell you about it is that it's about a young woman, a 17-year-old young adult, who uh, has to deal with loss. And on top of all of that, I've also written a 4,000-word essay this year on French cinema and sexuality, teenage sexuality, nudity, and prostitution within French cinema, which is a heavy topic. Now I know that the world doesn't need another white straight male writing about female nudity uh, and, sex and, and sex in film, but I find gender and sexuality discussions so interesting that I couldn't not write about it. So in comparison to first year, second year has been a lot more freeing. You know, you, you have a lot more freedom in the things you can create and, and do and, and they trust you more with the equipment. If you are one of those film students or future film students who are into lighting and sound and cameras, the, the technical aspects of filmmaking, then second year is a lot more freeing in that. You get inducted on a lot more uh, higher 
quality uh, equipment and more, more, there's more versatility uh, to the things you can use. Now, I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to equipment, so I'm not even gonna try and, and name anything that you can use. Their only there really restrictions are in place because they want it to be equal for everyone, because if, you know, if someone has, for example, their own camera, then everyone else is using something lower quality, then that person's film is gonna look so much better. And although looks aren't everything of a film, you know, they need to keep it an even playing field because at the end of the day, you're all on the same page and same level, at least academically. So they need to they need to treat it that way. And I know that a lot of people get frustrated about the restrictions that are in place on the course. I've had many debates with people that they think if they shouldn't be there, I think they should, because for, for that exact reason. What they're focusing on is, and what they're teaching you is how to tell a story because any schmuck can pick up a camera and film something. Yeah, you know, I'm doing it now. Yeah, this isn't the most visually appealing image of all time, but I'm telling you a story right now which is more engaging than the shot, you know? And I'm not a, a DP, I'm not a cinematographer. I like to write and tell stories, so that's what I'm doing. So if you're thinking about coming to Falmouth and studying film, then do it look into it and ask people. Uh, leave a comment down below if there's anything you want to know about in particular. I will do my best to answer. As I said, I'm not uh, I'm not well versed in equipment or anything like that, but I know who to direct you to and I can get those answers for you. But I'm going to leave this video here because I probably waffled for way too long. I just wanted to have a little bit of a, a look back at second year and, and compare it to my first one. Um, even if no one else really watches this or cares. It's weird that, you know, my second year is now over. I've handed in my work and there's nothing else I can do for it. So, yeah. As always, I've been Luke. Thank you very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, then give it a like and uh, I will see you in the next video. Stay safe. Bye.